Chris Mortensen joining us now on ESPN News. Mort, why did Tom Brady have such an impact on these negotiations? Well, it's one of the most unique stories I've uh, reported on in quite a while. And, and by the way, I had to do the calculation because <laughs> I, I just know, I just know, you know, uh, I was told by cold source that it's, it's equal to Tom Brady. That's equal is $18 million a year times five years. That's the $90 million. I, I was able to do that. I did get my calculator <laughs> out. And uh, but uh, it, it, here's the thing. What's, what's unique about this is that Colts owner Jim Mersey, for, for almost a year now, it says Peyton Manning will be the highest paid player in football. I'm going to make him the highest paid player. When Tom Brady got his $18 million per year deal a year ago, you know, Ursay made the statement, I'm going to pay him even more than Brady. Brady has set the market, but we're still going to make him the highest paid player. Well, as they got into negotiations this week, uh, two days ago, Manning sat down with Ursay and team president Bill Polian and said, I don't want to be the highest paid player in football. He even asked for less than Brady's. But they, <laughs> they actually had a... Uh, a little battle, you know. I mean, Jim Irsay wanted to pay him uh, an average of twenty million per year, but uh, Manning didn't want to have any anything to do with it, and, and certainly motivated by the fact that he understands that his legacy is about you know winning more games. He certainly has a great record of winning. He's won one Super Bowl. He'd like to win more. Uh, they'd like to sign some of their own free agents, like Joseph Adai and Charlie Johnson, and maybe extend Robert Mathis, go out there and get a couple more free agents. But I think that's a true, uh, genuine motivation for Manning at this point in his career. He's made a lot of money. He knows it. And this has uh, got a chance to be his last contract with the Colts. He that's only had two, but uh, this would make three in terms of the uh, three contracts that he's had. It's like you take the ball, no, you take the ball. So, all right, in your analysis. It really went like that, I know, by the right? way. It, it really but, went like that. So, but where would the Colts be wisest to spend this leftover money, if you will? Well, you know, when, when you have a guy like Bill Polian running your football operation, uh, I think he'd be, he'd be a better choice to, to, to address that matter. But certainly, you know, continuity and stability within your own team is important. And by the way, even during this time when, the, when Manning's been, you know, well paid, he's had mechanisms in his contract that the Colts could trigger to lower the salary cap figure, which allowed them to sign Dwight Freeney or, and Bob Sanders. Uh, now, jo re-signing Joseph Adai, the running back, I think is important to them. And Charlie Johnson, their left tackle. Uh, Robert Mathis, the defensive end, is coming up and not happy. And then, you know, you know maybe uh, Ryan Dean, one of the offensive linemen, they've talked about cutting his pay or possibly cutting him. So part of this is about keeping your own guys, but there are some players out there, whether you want to call them on defense or offense, that, uh, uh, that certainly the coach – may have flexibility to go after. Their, their philosophy, as you know, is not to be active in free agency. But uh, at the very least, re-sign your own key free agents and go out and grab a couple more. That's certainly the message that Manning is, is, is telling his owner. And now uh, the Ursays have a little bit more money to do that with. Chris Mortensen with the breaking news, a brand new deal for Peyton Manning. Thanks, Morton.